Hey guys, it's Bruce, and this week we're talking about video games. So as a kid I didn't really play that many video games. Um, I remember that we had a PlayStation, um, but it was my brother's and I really had no interest in it. However, about once a month, um, me and my brother would go over to my aunt's house um, and she would let us play like um, Spyro and Rayman. And I kind of sucked at it, so really I just sat and watched everybody else play. One of my best friends has um, a PlayStation thingy. Um, and I remember going around our house one time and playing Grand Theft Auto and um, I just remember um, her um, getting me to play and me not knowing what to do and somehow this cartoon man that I was controlling with the thingy ended up on a bike and then um, it was sort of like this. But with the cartoon man on a bike and me doing the screaming because I got excited and didn't really know what to do. Also, when I um, went to Fiona Jane's house um, the last time, the most recent time, she likes video games. She's got all the all the doobly doo bits, and she was playing a game. I think it was about zombies or something. She kept hitting a man with with like a spanner thing. And when she hit him, his body went, you know, like jumped up and all this blood went everywhere. I remember being disgusted and telling her to stop. She thought it was funny, so I hit him even more. Needless to say, video games really aren't my thing. However, oh, what's this? Now wait. Lovely. However, I do like playing um, Guitar Hero and I was going to call it Band Hero, but it's not Band Hero, it's Rock Band. That was embarrassing, okay. Um, so here's some clips of me playing that. As you can see, I'm a pro, so uh, thank you. Now, as far as... Um, video games um, having some sort of effect on the people that play it, um, for example desensitising children into thinking that violence is okay um, because they do it so much playing games, um, I think that it does actually make sense. Um, when I was studying psychology um, we had, like, we studied this particular um, subject um, and I remember, I can't remember all the specifics because I'm old now and I studied it a while ago. But I remember at the time thinking that it did actually make sense because they were playing it so much and when they were playing it, um, I'm talking about small kids here, not, not like grown adults, although it can happen in grown adults as well. But as they were, you know, like shooting people and hitting zombies or whatever on, on the video games, um, you know, when it came to real life, they didn't realise that if they hit somebody or shot somebody, you know, that it had consequences. Especially, like, I think, like, the younger generation, you know, because they're growing up with, like, violent films, the video games, stuff like this. Like, they haven't got, like, a concept of, like, the real world, if you like. I'm not explaining myself very well. I'm sorry. Long story short, I think that sometimes video games can influence people. And their behaviour. Okay, thanks. So those were my opinions on video games, or lack of them. Um, so cool. I'll see you. Um, I'll actually see you next Friday. I think instead of next Sunday. So I'll see you then. Bye.